guys welcome back to no catchy name it's me ella today i wanted to hop on here and share with you guys some finished objects that i have and i just remembered i left the in the living room i'll be there in a minute june is down on the floor so uh can you not mess with that okay i had to move something she was into the bag of packaging to drop off at the clothes office. anyways my looks a little crazy so I've been working on some things and I wanted to hop on here. I've been showing some of them in my Vlogmas, but I know not everybody watches Vlogmas videos, which is fine because I know there's a ridiculous amount of them right now. And even I can't watch everybody I would love to. So I'm having to like pick and choose who I watch. And uh, I'm totally okay with that. If you don't watch my Vlogmas, that's fine. <laughs> but uh, so I wanted to just get everything together that I've been working on and show them to you guys. All the links for everything I mentioned will be linked below if I can, if they have links. Let's see here. Yeah, everything here has a link. I have one finished object that is my own pattern that will be coming out Friday in my challenge video with Terry from Your Journal Podcast. It is a pattern that I made up my own self, myself, <laughs> but I didn't write it down. It's just, you know, like I made it, I was sitting on the couch in the living room watching Walking Dead and making it. <laughs> so, um, if, I don't know, I might write it up eventually. But anyways, we'll, we'll talk about that Friday. So first is my Christmas candle. I think it's called Crochet Candle and it's a free PDF download from a website. I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> But it'll be linked down below in the description box. So I finished it this much. The pattern does have flowers you're supposed to put on here. But I didn't like the pattern. Like the way you make it. I don't know. It just didn't look right to me. So I just didn't make them. And I was going to put something else on there. But I think it looks fine the way it is. But it's really pretty. It is like hollow. You could stick like a toilet paper roll or a soda can or something up in it to give it um, stability. Yeah. Or you could just leave it the way it is, which is what I've done. I just left it the way it is. And, uh, it's all red heart super silver except this. I don't know what this is. It's a scrap ball. But this is just white, cherry red, and patty green. And, uh, I can't remember what hook I used. <laughs> but it's in the pattern. I used one from the pattern. But I think it's so cute. So there's that. Completely done now. And then I did make this hat out of some yarn I was gifted for my yarn swap for Vlogmas. And it was, um, red heart mini uh icicles that's what it was called and it was two little cakes of it this is the divine hat hat which is a free pattern you can find on ravelry as a download i'll link it below and i think it's so pretty i love the swirl effect it does and i used pretty much two whole of the little cakes for this hat and i used a for the body i used a j hook which is a six millimeter and for the brim i used a h hook which is a five millimeter uh i think it turned out really pretty i love it it reminds me of elsa from Frozen. And then also, uh, for the rest of this is maybe yarn that I was gifted in my swap. So, this is a little sweater <laughs> ornament. This yarn was named uh, on the bag. You know, it's not actually named that. Kevin's sweater. So, I thought it'd be cute to make a sweater <laughs> for my Christmas tree. I think I have this written down. Yeah, it's called Tiny Sweater Ornament by uh, ZenHandsArt.com. I'll link it below. And I just made a little hanger out of a... Uh, paper clip to uh, hang it on the Christmas tree with <laughs> and uh, I think it's so cute it worked, it worked up super fast it made it with an e-hook a 3.5 millimeter and worsted weight and I like it I like it a lot I might make more of those in the future <laughs> and then um let's see here next is snowflake ornaments I made three of these I can't remember if that was last night or the night before that so here they are they're, they're exactly the same uh, it's a free pattern from your inspirations UK the UK your inspirations I don't know if that makes a difference you know because written in US terms but I made three of them with the scrap ball that I was gifted so I got three of those and I might make some more of those with glittery yarn that I got and then last actually not last last that I have on the table right now I just made these two squares this is the Maria's blue crown square that she uses for all her patterns Adam the rest of my scraps from my gift exchange so that I can make up some squares and then eventually make something with the squares. But I also made, I finished my doll gown. I'll get that and show it to you. And I also have a, um, the door stopper. I'll probably just insert a photo of that because I'm using it right now and it's cold outside. <laughs> but I'll insert a photo of that. It's a door stopper. I made it with the pattern from Crochet Crowd. And I used two strands of my worsted weight variegated scraps. And I think an H hook or an I hook. I can't remember exactly, but I followed the pattern from the crochet crowd, so I'll link that below. Alright, now last is the first doll outfit that I made for June when she's older. She's behind me. <laughs> and it's for an 18-inch doll. This is a My Life doll, which is the Walmart brand. 
and it, this pattern is called the Christmas Gown by Pamela's Adoring Doll Clothes, and I'll link her YouTube channel and her uh, Etsy shop down below if you want to check it out. It was only $1.99, and it comes with the gown and the hat. Uh, I didn't 100% finish it because it does take a button on the back, but I'm actually going to leave that off for a while because if I give this to June when she's like two, I don't want to have a button on there. Uh, it doesn't really need it. You know, it still stays on good. And there's not supposed to be top stitching for decorative. I just didn't want to do that. <laughs> I don't like doing uh, top stitching. So I just didn't do that. And uh, there's also like a picture where they have buttons and stuff. I just left it plain. I thought it was nice. This is Red Heart um, Cherry Red. And this multicolor one is from I Love This Yarn. I can't remember what it's called. But I know it's I Love This Yarn Metallic. But I think it's cute. It's a normal little set. I got another pattern from Pamela that I'm going to start making soon, and it's the Scrubs outfit. Uh, so I'm going to make that probably in like a pink color, because I like pink. And uh, I want to hoard up a bunch of doll clothes for June when she gets older, so that when I give her the doll, I can give her a bunch of clothes with it. Uh, that's the plan, at least. We'll see if I actually do it. But that's what I'm planning on doing. So I think it's adorable. It's cute. Love it. So that's all the things I've been working on. So far in December, I have seven finished objects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One of them I can't show you. Did I finish that? Eight, I guess. I didn't write that one down, did I? Yeah, right there. Let's see here. Yeah. And then the other one is the thing I can't show you until Friday. <laughs> so I will show you that on Friday for the challenge. Uh, so just tune in and watch that then. And then I will insert a picture, if I didn't already, of the draft blocker. And all the patterns will be linked below. And yeah, that's just everything I wanted to share with you guys that I've finished. And I've been sharing them in my Vlogmas too. So if you want to watch them, you can. But there's no pressure. <laughs> I know some people don't care about the vlogs and that's perfectly fine. I just enjoy sharing them for the people who do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and try to get this edited and up tonight. <laughs> it's already kind of later in the day, but I'm going to try. But I will see you guys in another video. Bye guys.